Hey guys, it is finally Saturday, April 15th, and today is officially D-Day. Woohoo! We are leaving on the trip that we've been planning for two years. We are going traveling abroad for one year starting today. In all honesty, it kind of still feels surreal for me. I only finished working yesterday, so as far as I know, this could just be another weekend before I go back to work. But the last eight weeks, I'd say, I've been really anticipating this trip, and work has kind of felt like a bit of a slog. So it's kind of gone by really slowly for me, but now that it's here, I kind of can't believe that it's here either. As for me, I've been off for work for two weeks now and most of you would be thinking, oh wow, that sounds really relaxing. You must have really gotten into the spirit of all this travel stuff. Nope, it's been very, very busy. We've had a lot to sort out um, and a lot of logistics stuff to figure out as well. So really, I think yesterday was about the first time that I just had a day of doing nothing at all. So. Uh, so yeah, but with that though, that's given me a solid 24 plus hours to actually let it hit me and really come to terms with the idea of the fact that we're actually doing this. Yeah, like Nick this morning has been dancing around, being like, we're going traveling today and just like singing and he's been like smiling like a Cheshire cat. So I think for him, it's really hit him now. Pretty solidly. Because we're going traveling, we're going traveling, we're going traveling. Mwah. Can't wait. Another thing that I want to touch on that Nick has already said is the fact that he finished work two weeks ago and thank goodness that he did because he's really put in so much hard work to get us like international driver's licenses, to get us travel health insurance, to get us international phone plans, to make sure that we have no fee travel credit cards to ensure that all of our points programs are set up properly. He has worked tirelessly for two weeks straight and had both of us been working, we wouldn't have been able to get all of this done on time. So thank you. You're welcome. Team work. Heck yeah. We're just about to head out to the airport. My mom hates driving to the airport and in all fairness to her, it's kind of confusing with all the different highways that intersect in the one location. So she is driving us to my cousin's house in Thornhill and then my cousin Jacqueline has really graciously offered to drive us the rest of the way to the airport. So that's how we're getting to Toronto Pearson today.
So we've arrived to my cousin's house and we have moved the bags over and heading to the airport now. Well, that was actually really, really easy. Uh, to be honest, the queues were not that bad in the first place. So really, did we need priority security? I don't think so. Today it was kind of useless. Yeah, but still, it did get us through just that extra bit quicker. So that means hopefully we'll have a little bit more time to enjoy the Plaza Premium Lounge that we're about to head to. And that's another benefit of the American Express Business Platinum Card. Okay, so we just left the lounge and we're waiting to board our flight. It should be boarding in probably about five or 10 minutes. So we have decided to come up with a rating system for lounges that we're able to access around the world. So to be clear, we were in the Toronto Pearson Terminal 1 Premium Plaza Lounge just now. We are going to rate lounges based on food, drink, cleanliness, comfort, and amenities, and we're gonna rate them out of 10. Okay, so here goes for food. Well, I was the only one who had food. Generally speaking, the options that were available were pretty nice. Yeah, I ended up having some tarragon chicken, some sweet and sour pork, and all that kind of stuff, and it was all very nice, well seasoned, all that kind of stuff. The only thing was, there just wasn't a massive variety beyond that, so would have liked to have seen a little bit more. So with that, I would have rated that as a six. And we're gonna rank the food and drink based on variety and quality. Okay, so next up is drink. We both had some drink. How was your wine? It was okay. It was Jackson Triggs, which is actually not a bad brand, but it was probably one of their lower quality wines. It wasn't off, but yet it was a little vinegary. Mm -hmm. And in terms of like house wines, there were only two selections, a white and a red. Yeah, and the only beer that they had available was either Molson Canadian or Coors Light, uh, which isn't the best. They definitely had like other options that were available, but you had to pay extra for that. So kind of got lumped with what one would probably describe as a relatively cheap beer and not necessarily a good one. So it wasn't overtly pleased, but it looked like the availability of like free spirits and all that kind of stuff looked pretty good too. So I think we're going to put that one at about five. Yes. And then the cleanliness, we're actually rating a nine out of 10. It was very clean. Yeah, it's great. Not fault that at all. And then comfort. Comfort. I mean, the chairs were perfectly lovely. They were very comfortable and plush, but the space just felt so crowded. Yeah, they all just felt a bit tightly packed in, a bit claustrophobic. I'm not sure if that's just because of the floor space or anything like that, but yeah, it did feel like you were kind of a bit hemmed in with other people. So yeah, perhaps not the best there. So for that, we're rating it a six. 
And then finally, amenities. So basically, beyond kind of just food, drink, and all that kind of stuff, like what else is there? We didn't see a huge amount. They did have free Wi Fi, which was lovely, as well as charging ports and everything like that. But, I mean, we're not necessarily lounge pros by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly what I've understood of any lounge after having looked at some other YouTubers is that that's kind of part of the package. It's so, like the bare minimum. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, sort of they had showers as well, but there wasn't really a lot else. So we put that as a six as well. So yeah, gives us a grand total of what? Uh, six plus five, 11, 20, 32 out of 50. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see where other lounges rate across the world. And let us know if you've been to the Plaza Premium Lounge in Toronto, Pearson, Terminal 1, and let us know what you thought about it. <laughs> All right, I think it might just be about time to board our flight. So here we go. Finally in England. Ah, can't wait to just get to the final destination. We're gonna be staying with uh, Rachel's on and uncle for the best part of the week. So yeah, really excited to see everybody. Just got through passport control, got some coffee, and that's fun train. Just like that, we've reached the tube station where our family is collecting us, which means that we're at the end of our travel day from Toronto to London. So for now, we're just gonna go hang out with our friends and family and enjoy some good quality time together. Yep, so we've got one week here, just catching up with Rachel's family and, and spending some time in London, and then we're gonna head over and catch up with my family. And then after that, we set off on the next leg of the epic adventure, but it all starts here. Crazy. Ah, weird to think about, it, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually so surreal. It's kind of hitting me, but still not really. But I'm just so excited. Like, <laughs> I can't wait. It's this weird feeling inside, but I love it. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs> 